Hey, welcome back. Brendan here. I wanted to talk a little bit about Turbo Admin, which to me is one of those tools that like you, you once you start using it, you're like, how did I ever use WordPress before? Uh, and Turbo Admin gives you a command palette to navigate around your WordPress site using your keyboard. And you can use it on unlimited WordPress sites. It costs $35 one time fee. And for me, it's the perfect fit. And if you've been paying attention the last couple of weeks, there's a new kid in town called Command UI. Seems like a really great tool. I haven't used it yet, so keep that in mind. But uh, it seems like it's a really popular and well-made tool that really gets granular in what it can do. It got a lot of love. There was a ton of video content and um, articles written about it, a lot of buzz on social media. Um, but I wanted to talk about a, a different tool and give them some love called Turbo Admin. So Turbo Admin is very similar, except that it's not a plugin. It runs as a browser extension. And so that means I can actually use it on unlimited WordPress sites. And that's a big factor for me because I manage literally hundreds of websites. And so I needed a way to not have to install a plugin dependency. And I needed a way to be able to have this functionality on sites that I don't actually have control of the hosting and plugin uh, installation, right? So it works on basically any WordPress site that you're logged into. So I can come into my site and open my command palette and there is my search. I can search for whatever I'd like and it's a big long list of things you can go through. It, it pulls in all the plugins and your theme. So I have all my brick settings. I've got my like Lightspeed cache, Metabox, and then all my custom post types, basically everything. So I can, you know, search in here and, and do what I'd like. So I can, you know, go to appearance and open the theme file editor pretty quickly. I can navigate to my posts and I can search my posts uh, for a, you know, API or whatever like that. And it'll pull up all my posts with that word in it. I can, um, you know, click on it and I can either view it, edit or copy the link. So it's a really quick way to navigate around my site without relying on the somewhat confusing and, you know, uh, overly complex uh, WordPress admin that, that just gets bigger and bigger as your site gets bigger. So instead of having to figure out, you know, where I am within this and hover and, and figure out that I can, I can just pull it up and, and search my posts. Right. So I can search my custom posts, right. I can do like my resources. I can see my, categories, I can add new, I can view them, I can, add, you know, basically anything I'd like to, to do. Um, so that is sort of the functionality that it does. You can open up the extension and you can change the shortcuts, right? I have it as control shift L. You can change those around. There's other features in here too, which are pretty cool. Um, there's like an admin search, a barkeeper. So if I like turn this on and uh, refresh, You'll see now I have my search up here, right? So if I, I can search, you know, whatever my posts this way, right? And um, it's really fantastic, a, a quick way to get around. And this works on the front end too, right? So I can search it there. And if you, you know, that's if you don't really want the pop up, I kind of like the pop up so I can turn that off, but it's nice that you have some options there and you can change um, some of this other stuff too. There's like hiding admin notices and things like that. So that is the basic functionality of the, the Turbo Admin. So um, a little bit more about Turbo Admin. I have a couple of uh, notes here I'm gonna pull up. Um, and let's just start with the pros. So I talked about you can use it on any WordPress website, uh, which is fantastic. I don't have to install it as a plugin. It works just on any WordPress website that I'm logged into. So there's no, I don't have to worry about plugin updates or any kind of plugin conflicts or any renewal fees. And I don't need to retroactively add it to the sites that I work on and go back and add this plugin to hundreds and hundreds of client sites that I manage. There's, uh, it, you know, it's a one-time fee of $35. Um, and I think the guy has mentioned that it might, uh, like you might have to pay for an update yours forever. You can keep this version one forever. Uh, future major updates may require a paid upgrade. And I'm fine with that because it's it's um, it's definitely the best 35 bucks I've spent <laughs> in a long time, for sure. Because I can, as I said, I can use it on unlimited sites, and I have six installations of it, so I I can give it to my uh, team at my agency, 
and they can use it on their sites. Um, and, and we talked a little bit about the, the other additional features it has. It has that like little bar fly search that was up in the top right corner. You can hide admin notices. So there's some other sort of quality of life uh, improvements that it has for you. So let's get to the cons. The cons are it doesn't work in Safari, but also just stop using Safari if that's what you're using. It's not very good. Uh, it, it can't make certain server-side actions. So I can't um, search the plugin repository and install and activate a plugin. And that you can do that in command UI. So that is that is a very nice uh, addition there. And again, the, the, the sort of the differences with command UI, you can't go multiple levels deep. You can't search um, pages within pages, it seems. Like you, it's it's a little more restrictive in... The top levels that you can search and it the edit page function seems to ignore page builders the edit just goes to gutenberg i'll show you that in a second uh, and i can't let my clients use it or other devs working on the sites they actually have to have the extension installed in their uh, chromium browser to to do it but again if i need to get let people use it it's another 35 bucks for six more installs pretty reasonable for me and so um, I just go back here to like the edit page ignores page builders. This is kind of a bummer, right? So if I want to uh, like search for my pages and I want to um, edit page, I don't have the option to like edit in bricks. And if you check out like uh, Nick Arce's video he made about command UI, which is the other product, uh, you can see here like he has the option to, to edit in bricks. Um, and so that it's picking up the fact that the page was built in bricks, which is a, a kind of nice um, uh, feature because if I just hit edit page, it's just going to take me to the uh, Gutenberg page, right? So I need to then hit edit with bricks. So it's one of those trade-offs. Everything in web design is a trade-off. And, you know, if that's a deal breaker, then definitely go check out Command UI. It's uh, pretty popular. And it's not super uh, expensive or anything either. Uh, it's just... Like with Command UI, I was looking at the prices and it's like $199 a year for 150 sites. I'd need to buy several of these agency plans to cover all of the sites that we manage. And I just didn't really see a huge benefit yet. And that might change. We'll see what happens uh, with this because this is probably going to be more actively developed than Turbo Admin. Turbo Admin is, is definitely a side project from the guy. Um, th this is not his main job and he can't make guarantees on responses and fixes. Again, with this price tag, I'm not super worried about it. It does exactly all the things I need. And again, I can just go to a different WordPress site. You know, here's a, here's a different site and, you know, I can open up and search this one, right? So this is using generate blocks. And so I can, you know, see all my generate settings and all that stuff. So. I don't have to go and install a new plugin. I can just rely on Turbo Admin to help me navigate around my sites. So that is essentially all I wanted to show you. Um, Command UI seems like a really great tool. Calvin's selling it like hotcakes and that's fantastic. And if it fits your use cases, that's, that's fantastic. Definitely go and use that. Uh, I wanted to, you know, just give a shout out to another uh, plugin that's been, or not plugin, but, um, tool, right? Turbo Admin that's been around for a couple of years and doesn't get as much love maybe as, as it should, because I think it's, it's a pretty nice tool to have in your toolkit. So that's all I really wanted to share with you. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll end it there. Let me know what you think. Are you using any of these tools on your websites? Do you have a preference? Maybe Command UI is better for your use case. I'd love to hear about how you're using these kind of things in the comments. All right. See you next time.